Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Okay, problem 4.2. So the statement of problem is that knowing that couple shown act in a vertical plane determine the stress at point A and point B. This is basically the same problem that we solved earlier, but here the members are uh, rectangular hollow sections. Clear? So we can see that movement is given like that. So it will bend like this. There will be a shortage in length. So the upper portion will be in compression while lower portion is in tension. So we have given the value of movement that is M is equal to 15 kilonewton into meter. And we have to find the first thing is stress at point A, this point A, which is sigma A, and we have to find stress at point B. So let's start with solution. We know that uh, stress formula for pure bending is minus M into Y divided by I, where M is the moment y is the distance from neutral axis to the place where we will have to find the stress and i is the moment of inertia so let's start finding the moment of inertia for this rectangular hollow section so if we see that this is there are two rectangular rectangular bodies one is this one the outer one and the one is inner inner one so we will first find this the bend, uh, moment of inertia for this first member and the, then for second member. So we can see this is the outer and this is the inner. So this will, the total inertia will be equal to inertia of the outer minus inertia of the inner. So first we will find the inertia for outer I naught and for um, this rectangular body, this inertia formula is 1 over 12. This is 1 over 12. BH cube. B H cube. So, let B for outer is equal to 20 plus 20 plus 40, which is equal to 80. So, 80 and the total height is 80, 20, 120. So this will be equal to 120 whole cube. Clear? So we will get the value of I naught for the outer body which is 11.52 11 11.52 into 10 raised to power 6 millimeter power 4. So if you want to convert it into meter so this I naught will be equal to 11.52 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4 so we can we have find the value of i naught now we will find the value of inner rectangular which is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube now you can see that i inner will be equal to this is the b which is 40 and this is the height which is 80 so 1 over 12 B is 40 and height is 80 that will be cube so I for inner moment of inertia for inner rectangular comes out to be 1.706 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4 now we will find the value of whole body moment of inertia for whole body which is equal to I naught minus I inner so that will be equal to 11.52 into 10 raised to power minus 6 minus 1.706 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so I comes out to be 9.81 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter power 4 so this is the value of moment of inertia of this 
rectangular hollow cross section now we will move towards first part of which is sigma a and we know that sigma a is equal to minus m into y a over i now what is y a so i will show you if i erase these things so as this is a square in cross section and if you find the mid of this so this this will be your neutral axis because the body is symmetrical so definitely this distance will be equal to 80 20 120 and this will be 60 so neutral axis will be at a distance of 60 millimeter so y a is actually distance y a is this distance which is 80 divided by 2 40 so y a is equal to 40 similarly distance of point b from this neutral axis is this this is y b so this is um, actually 40 plus 20 is equal to 60 so y a is at 40 uh, distance millimeter and y b is at 60 millimeter so but when you solve the problem you have to put the value of y b as minus 60 because it is below the neutral axis we will see it later so sigma a will be equal to y, the value of m is uh, fifteen into ten to the power three and the distance of y a is uh, forty millimeter so when you convert it into meter that will be zero point zero four zero and similarly the value of i is 9.81 into 10 to power minus 6 so if you solve this sigma a comes out to be minus 61.6 into 10 to power 6 pascal or you can say that is equal to minus 61.6 mega pascal the negative sign shows that stress at point a is negative and which mean that it point a is under compression now we will solve for point b stress at point b so again stress at point b is equal to minus m into y b over i again i have shown you that distance of y b is minus 60 y because it is located at a 60 millimeter distance from neutral axis and as it is below the neutral axis so we will take it as negative so minus 15 into 10 raised to power 3 and distance is minus 60 which is equal to minus 0 0.060 and the distance of uh, the value of i is 9.81 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so the stress at point b comes out to be 91.7 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal which is equal to 91 point sorry 91.7 mega pascal so now the value of stress at point b is positive so it means that this is in tension while stress at point a is in compression or point a is in compression while a point b is in tension so you can see that this point there is this is a point b this is in tension while point a is somewhat here so that is is under compression so this was the end results uh, thank you for watching your my videos if you have any question you can comment in the comment section